who, who do we agree with then? Well, I don't know who we agree with. All I can say is <laughs> that what happened this week, the, the Prime Minister popped up, right? And, and right, whether he, right. he was loving it or whether he thought, oh dear, I'll have to do this. And he backpedaled <laughs> like crazy. And then they went on to um, the SNP and um, right. they were saying, oh, we uh, don't yeah. want this to happen. I thought, stop. Somebody uh, needs I, to tell. Uh, Somebody needs to I tell the nationalists know. that all this yeah. green stuff is uh, is a bit of a scam. Somebody uh, needs to tell them it's, that. It's ridiculous, God. You see? Mean, I, the earth the has always been them. heating and cooling. That's why we had the ice age. Where is the ice uh, now? I, it's gone. Because the earth heated up. Now the earth will cool that's down again. True. That's true. Yes, that's of course true. it's where, true. McClure has the ice? spoken. Where is the right. ice? McClure, McClure's the man. McClure's the man. Is the ice? It's, yes. a, it's a fact. Uh, yes. I've seen years. Do you remember I was saying years ago, ice is going to melt, it's going to cause friction, yes. it's going to melt into the sea, it's going to cause massive floods and all that? Yes. But, but we've had that, we've had massive floods. What about Noah 2,000 uh, years uh, ago? More right. than that, more yeah, than that. I mean, more than 2,000 years ago. You know, maybe uh, maybe uh, several thousand years ago because Noah was before Jesus, wasn't he? That's right before Christ. As now well, Noah, maybe, Noah yeah. had to cope with the flood, and I thought it's good. the Bible says it's going to rain for forty days and forty nights. Now I was brought up in Greenock, and it, it did yeah. that every year. Wow, Scotty, I'll take you back. Remember the film that opened up the sea? People had to cross it. Moses, it again? the Red Sea. Nope. Moses parted. Moses parted it. He was taking the children of Israel and he parted the Aye. sea. Ah, wow. I think we talked about this. I don't, yes. Sometimes I'm getting a bit, sometimes I'm getting, maybe because I'm getting a bit old anyway. No, you're I not getting old, old, old at all. You're not getting old at all. It's just we remember <laughs> these things. What about the greatest story ever told? Jesus of Nazareth. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yes. Jesus. Jesus was also crucified for our sins, which is terrible. Yes, yes. Well, well, of course. The, and that's why we shouldn't be sinning again. Of course. You know what I mean? And, and, these, the, and, these, and these elites, the billionaires, have got a few quid, so they think they don't need God. They think they don't exactly. need Jesus. You know, now you and always the, do. The, yeah. the Jesus movie, the Jesus movie. Did you, see, did you see the Jesus movie? Did you see it? Which, which particular one was that? Right, do you remember about your oh, seven, eight year ago Jesus movie? They made a movie in the picture hall. I don't mention picture halls anyway. Anyway, so they there made was a Jesus, movie. There Jesus. was Jesus of Nazareth. That's a beauty. Yes. Do you remember right, Robert then, Powell starring as Jesus? Right, that, that is one. She put him off the cross down the hall. He would have to pull him off the cross down the hall. I, I think that, that might be the one because it, it, the Roman it, soldiers drew lots for his clothing. It was in the pictures. It was awful. He was getting crucified for nothing. Uh, yeah. Well, this is it. Was the mob? You see, this is why right. you want to avoid. Well, because I'll tell you very quickly, David. Right, just stick with me. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. Yeah, Pontius yeah. Pilate, who I think was from Fortingall in Perthshire, he was a Scotsman, uh -huh, and he'd gone uh -huh, back uh -huh. with the Romans. Right. Now he was right. made the governor of Judea. Now Judea yeah. is a very tough gig. It was a tough posting uh -huh. because they were all uh -huh. a bit wild in there, you know, all the different people. Oh, so, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So he needed to rule with an iron rod, old uh, Pontius Pilate. And then this young man, this wonderful, uh -huh. handsome, brilliant young man came yes. preaching a new uh -huh. philosophy and saying he was the son of God. So he was saying, you'll uh -huh. no longer need to be Jewish. Follow me. I am Christ, Jesus of Nazareth. That's why you see in the cross, I-N-R-I. -I. Yes, uh, uh, the I is yeah, Yesu yeah. Nazarene Rex is right. an interator. Yes, so I-N-R-I. -I. Here is Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. 
everything we talk about is so exciting. It's really true stuff, as you know. Yes, yes. You know, it's wonderful, but I don't, I, I'm really annoyed that uh, uh, Christ was crucified for our sins. Yes, well, he was. And the thing is, it was the crowd. They had the two other thieves. They had Barabbas. And uh, <laughs> what was the name of the I other mean, one? I can't mind the name of the other one. Had, they, they had thieves, but the thieves got away with it. Well, well, yes, because Pilate was getting anxious about the crowd control. Right? Oh, dear, 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 yes, dear, the dear, dear. Control. Uh, okay, yeah. okay. So he was yeah, getting anxious, yeah. and the head of the Roman centurions would be going, you need to watch this mob. He's going, right, right, well, I need to make a decision. And they were shouting, uh, crucify him, crucify him. And he stopped oh, them horrible. and it's said... It's horrible. Yes, he, they stopped and shouted, right, what do you want to do? Is it the thief oh, uh, or is it Jesus Christ? And they all shouted, oh. free Barabbas. Right. Free so, Barabbas. What? Tell me about Barabbas. Boy, before well, you Barabbas go. was the thief, and they let him go. Because there yeah. was three so crosses. So Barabbas was the thief. The thief. That thief's, a, that thief's a, a bloody traitor. Yes, he was a bad one. He was he was worse than Judas Iscariot. Yes, you know? yes, so there yes. you are. So wow, there, but, but, and then, and then Pontius Pilate, the governor of Judea, asked for uh -huh. a basin to be brought and he washed uh -huh. his hands. Now he was right. washing his hands because uh -huh. of the fact he had blood on his hands, metaphorically uh, speaking. Metaphorically so he was saying, you know, people say, right, I'm washing my hands of that then. I'm not to do it. Yes, yeah. Well, yes, that's what course, he was doing. Yes. That's where it came uh, from. And uh, if you look at Shakespeare's Macbeth, Lady uh, Macbeth washes her hands. I went to see Macbeth way back, oh, my God, in the 90s years ago. Yes. In a certain fierce in Glasgow. Yes. Right, but Macbeth, I was a wee bit confused. I was trying to understand the whole story. Uh-huh. Uh, the whole right, story of Macbeth. Yes, I get so confused. Well, yes, because, all, well, because of the beautiful language, you start listening to the language. And the language uh -huh. tells you all the story because Shakespeare uh -huh. talked about, well, when you talk about Shakespeare, you talk about bare boards and a passion uh -huh. or two because what Shakespeare's yeah. raison d'etre was, David, on a Saturday uh -huh. afternoon at the Globe uh -huh. Theatre, they were all in and yeah. they were all gassed on the booze. They'd been to market, <laughs> sold their cow. Yeah, yeah. There were chickens yeah. and dogs running about. There was fighting going on, there was bear baiting, there was cock fighting. All this was Crazy. going on. And then a young bunch of 16-year-old strolling players, all guys, uh -huh. would, would go onto this raised platform and uh -huh. sort of more or less go, shut your faces, we've got a play for you. Aye. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so now the shut right? your face man was your prologue. Uh -huh. So say it was uh, Henry uh, V. 16-year-old boy comes on the stage and they're all uh -huh. shouting and bawling and fighting and all the rest of it. And he shouts, yeah. Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention. A kingdom <laughs> for a stage, princess <laughs> to act. Wonderful. And monarchs yeah. to behold the swelling scene. Then should the warlike wow. Harry, like himself, assume the port of Mars, and at his heels, leashed in like hounds, should famine, sword, and fire crouch for employment. Oh. Then, once they've shut up, he changes and he goes, but pardon, gentles, all the flat and raised spirits on whose imaginary forces work. Think when we talk of horses that you see them printing their pride hooves in the receiving earth. And then he finishes up, wow. kindly to hear, gently to hear, kindly to judge our play. And they all go, Aah! and then they get on with the play. Oh, Scottish. Do you like the that? Passion and you. The <laughs> passion, yeah. You see? Fabulous. So, so that's you know, bare boards and a passion. And that's your Shakespeare. Yeah, oh, and then the language. So in other words, he's yeah. saying, 
Oh, for a muse of fire. I wish there was a big fire, Bob. But there's no, there's uh -huh. just me. He says, and then right. think you can see the 